जस्टिस राकेश रंजन प्रसाद सोन इन एज चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ मणिपुर हाई कोर्ट एयर एशिया फ्लाइट डिलेट एट इम्फॉल एयरपोर्ट ड्यू टू बॉम्ब थ्रेट वन पैसेंजर डिटेन एंड समन स्पेशल सिटिंग ऑफ असेंबली विद इन फाइव डेज और फेस मास एजुटेशन जेसीआरपीएस वुमेन्स विंग टेल्थ गवर्नमेंट Hello and welcome to Ice TV English News Bulletin. I'm Arke Primrose, and let's see the news in detail. Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad was sworn in as the new Chief Justice of Manipur High Court today. The solemn but short oath-taking ceremony was held at the Darbar Hall of Raj Bhavan. Governor Najma Abdullah administered the oath of office and secrecy to Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad. Oh, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India. and by law established that i will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of india that i will duly faithfully and to the best of my ability knowledge and judgment perform the duties of my office without Chief Minister O Ibobi Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly T.H. Lokeshwar Ministers Parliamentary Secretaries MLAs high ranking civil and police officials judges of Charkhan High Court and other states etc attended the ceremony after the oath taking ceremony Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad told media person that Manipur is his second home he expressed happiness over having been sworn in as the Chief Justice of Manipur High Court as a priority he will take up the pending cases to get them disposed of as soon as possible and pay attention to providing legal service to the needy people of the state who are finding it hard to get legal help justice rakesh ranjan prasad said but my priority would be that particularly the persons who are not getting justice we will try to reach them through legal services authority because the people doesn't know where the they were that they do have a right or not unless you will making aware that you do have this right which is being infringed only then when awareness would be brought to the general people we can reach out to every person who is suffering from justice the other thing is that uh, my priority would be there that uh, old cases be disposed of at the earliest so that the people may get justice these are uh, these would be the our my priority okay uh, i'm happy here quite happy here taking this manipur as my second home so i will do whatever best it would be for me for good to the people of manipur It is worth mentioning that Rakesh Ranjan Prasad was born on July 1st of 1955 in Bihar. He did his school and college studies in Bihar and got his law degree from the Patna Law College. He started practicing as a lawyer at the Patna High Court in 1980. He became a judge in 2001 and was a Registrar General at Jharkhand High Court. From 2006 he was a full-time judge at the same high court. Then he was transferred to Manipur High Court as the acting chief justice. An Air Asia flight that was to take off from the Imphal International Airport at 11:30 a.m. today was delayed for more than 2 hours due to a bomb threat tipped off by a passenger of the same flight. According to reports received from airport sources, one of the three tribal passengers who came together were boarding the plane bearing flight number 1F784. flying to delhi via guwahati after two of them had boarded the plane the third passenger who was wearing long hair told the flight crew that he was carrying a bomb in his bag immediately the flight crew alerted the airport security who cordoned off the area in no time and made all the passengers disembark from the plane and conducted a thorough search inside the plane and frisking of all the passengers no bomb could be found even after 2 hours of search frisking and checking Thereafter, the flight took off around 2 p.m. After confirming that the flight was safe, the passenger who warned that he was carrying a bomb in his bag has been identified as one Paushi Robinson. He has been told he has been held by the authority, and interrogation is going on. 
Meanwhile, passengers of other planes which landed at the Imphal airport were not allowed to deboard their planes. Convenor of JCILPS Women's Wing, D.H. Apavi, has asserted that the state government should summon a special sitting of the Manipur Legislative Assembly within four or five days and the governor must give her approval to this. Police stopped a group of volunteers of the Women's Wing who came to meet the governor at Kesampat today. Even after four volunteers had been selected to meet the governor, they could not get an appointment to meet her. Later, convener Apavi said, It is very unfortunate that when the mothers tried to meet the governor, she refused to give appointment. An application seeking appointment will be submitted to the governor today itself. Besides, the governor should see to it that a special sitting of the house is summoned as soon as possible or else the government has to face a mass agitation, she cautioned. The ILP bill is passed on the way to the house. The house is passed on the way to the house. Magi official ki oi ba sana pathap tu da Hello Sana da dog ni hai wa phama ma tha ba sitia koi aso ki matik pende Manipuri miya na nga chi phao ba da Hanu bi na ha hal kha ka na nga chi phao da lep ta na exhibition ki nong sum dum ki nong cha kha ta sang jalak ba puna ma sitia u bidra ka da nga chi no ma kha nga hak tang gi minute ra phana sang da ba ma tam tu da ma tam he le hai ba wa phama sitia aso ki matik ILJ ci ILPS na pende aduna ne haiyan ก็ดีกว่าเพราะยังไงเช่นแบบเจ็บปีกันนี่มวยเนี่ยบ้านเป็นสิ่งมาตุ้งเนี่ยอาตุกะอุณหภูมิตาเขาเปลี่ยนเ
Mayang was honored with National Builders Award presented by the students of the school on the occasion. Later during the program, the club handed over a sum of 27,300 rupees to three students who were selected for child development sponsorship. Moreover, the club handed over one projector with screen for e-learning purpose and study materials to the school. Well, the newly elected president of Trinamool Congress, Thongram Rabindra, has said that a high-level meeting will be held soon to take up necessary action against the four MLAs of the party who joined Congress recently without giving their resignation letters. He said this during a press meet held at his residence at Kairang Pabi today. He further said the act of the four MLAs who violated the constitution of the party is very unfortunate. They did not submit their resignation letter to the General Secretary before they left. Besides, they are still considered as MLAs by the Congress party, he asked. The leaders of Congress should clarify whether they are Congress or Trinamool MLAs at the earliest. On the other hand, he drew the attention of the Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly to clarify on the matter at the earliest. If the Speaker fails to clarify the matter at the earliest, the party will take the help of law he wants. ไอ้เช่นนั้นมันหันกี่ประตูคือเอาสิออนเนอร์เบลเมลเลยคือจุดที่สั่นอามาสูงออนเนอร์เบลเมลเลยคือจุดที่สมมุติเอ็นเช่
organization appealed to all people and communities of the state not to call any bun, locket and general strike by any grouped organization on this very day. Manipur Laumi Marup on Governor Road observed the 68th Farmers Day, also known as Protections of Manipur Day, informed a press release issued by the organizing committee. And a free eye camp was held at Langtaba Lep Mathaklekai today. The free eye camp was organized by BJP executive member Dr. S. Manauton of Nauria Pakhanglakpa Assembly Constituency in association with SISA Eye Care Foundation. Talking to media persons on the sidelines of the camp, Dr. S. Manauton said, more of such free medical camps will be organized in the constituency. It is informed that Thambal Murray College Oinam has been given accreditations by National Assessment and Accreditation Council Bangalore and certified B grade. It was announced on September 18. The 85th Foundation Day of Aryan Theatre was held at the Aryan Theatre Complex Wahangbam Lekai today. As part of the observance, a state-level seminar on the theme Arambam Samarendra, Poet, Playwright and Social Visionary was also held. Vice-Chancellor of Manipur University of Culture, Professor N. Khagendra, President of Aryan Theatre, Dr. Lokendra Arambam and Sahitya Sevak H. Romani were present as main guests. Professor Khagendra said Manipur has become a state where its future has become quite uncertain. General Secretary of All Manipur Elementary School Teachers Association, C.A. Shanta Kumar, has stated that intense form of agitation will be launched if the cabinet order for retrenching 1,786 teachers is not revoked. He said this while talking to media person at Manipur Press Club today. He added that a written complaint had already been submitted to the Chief Minister. It is highly condemnable and very unfortunate that the state government had decided to retrench 1,786 teachers who had been serving 50 years under the government of Manipur. He warned that if the cabinet order isn't revoked, a democratic form of agitation would be launched. <laughs> A blessing seeking ceremony of Naharol Kongtang Artist Association to Simang Lila's namely social worker and Thamamba Ahingi Thabale was held at Ibo Yaima Sumang Lila Shanglain today. President of Amju, Wang Kim Cha Samjai, Lifetime President of Sumang Lila Council, P.H. Gunachandra Sharma, Lifetime Secretary of the Council, Himanta and Theatre Director Varappa Naba attended as main guest in the ceremony. Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad sworn in as Chief Justice of Manipur High Court. Air Asia flight delayed at Imphal Airport due to bomb threat, one passenger detained. And summon special sitting of assembly within five days or face mass agitation, JCLPS Women's Wing tells government. Well, with that, we wrap up this bulletin. Keep watching ISTV News.